Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back. <laughs> this is vlog number five, I believe, and since these vlogs are kind of just like personal and what's happening to me and what's relating to this vlog, I figured I should share that. I went to a talk um, with Tatiana Faz Fazila Lizade um, yesterday. She came to campus October 23rd, um, and she is the creator and artist of uh, the Stop Telling Women to Smile street harassment campaign. And if you don't know what that is, is basically she's an artist who um, is primarily an oil painter but she um, yeah she sketches uh, portraits of women and then she takes an excerpt of what they said to her about street harassment and she blows that up and she'll put it on a wall um, so it becomes street art graffiti in a way if you will um, and it just discusses yeah it's a very quick but powerful quote that has something to say about street harassment and how it affects women. And so she came to our school and she gave a talk and I thought it was just amazing just to hear from her artist's perspective, like how are people reacting to the work um, and just what sparked it for her. So she has been an, uh, an artist for years and she's done street murals and she loves street art because um, it, it becomes a part of the environment. Um, so just like that element that it becomes part of your life as you're walking, taking the bus anywhere, just outside, right? So she's dealt with street harassment for years, I imagine as long as she has been identified as a woman. Um, yeah, and she felt that someone needed to say something. So she asked her two friends, um, hey, could I draw a portrait of you for my project? And they said yes. So she. First she sketches them and she takes great care to focus on the face and the eyes and the emotions that come out through that and then she'll put a quote underneath it from the conversation that they've had. Uh, the first couple of posters were just her two friends and then she decided that the project needed to become bigger. So after she uh, debuted the project in Brooklyn, she decided to travel around the U.S. and talk to women about street harassment. and. Um, what, they, what their feelings are and what they want to say about it. So, um, yeah, the project just took off from there. Powerful quotations like, I'm not your property. Um, I do, don't owe you conversation. Um, they've, gotten, they've gotten a lot of... Um, a lot of reaction, a lot of positive reaction online, as well as some men or other people have even taken up uh, writing on the actual art. So uh, their reactions, you know, not all men, that type of thing. That oh, men are not your property. Um, so as well as you should, you know, slut, liar, just very violent, um, violent reactions to the work, but. Basically, by writing on it, I found, and she finds, finds too, that it becomes part of the part of the art. Um, and she's glad that people are having these reactions, so that the conversation beca can become bigger. And it's a part; it's literally a part of your environment. As you're walking to work, you see this very quick, and it mirrors just how quick um, street harassment is. It's very fast. Someone says something, and you know, it has a lasting effect on you. Um, it just it shakes you. Um, you know. Uh, you know, someone is imposing themselves, they're, they're taking their entitlement to your time, your space, and your body, um, and they're violating that. Uh, so that's also why she uses the leaflet paper because A, it's easiest to put up, and B, you know, it's a material that you can quickly put something on it, like, you know, her sketching, scan it, blow it up on the leaflet paper. But if it's left alone, like on a wall outside, it lasts for a very long time. Um, and obviously since it's street art, it's put up illegally and sometimes it'll be taken down. Other times it'll be left up there, it just depends on the area. But um, yeah, the fact that this is street art, I find that it's great, it's a great medium. She could have chosen to do it any other way, but this is, you know, I find the most effective. Um, she, just to read some of the quotations from the talks, I thought, <laughs> it's just obviously I love it. Um, she said, that this is this project is about women taking back space and taking up space um, and she said that it needed to be there to speak up for me and to speak up for other women because not all of us are as outspoken as we'd like to be um, there even with street harassment it's not just verbal uh, a couple of weeks ago a woman was shot for rejecting a man's advances she was killed a mother of three children so Street harassment has that potential to become body, like bodily. It has the potential to become violent. Um, so this work is really about drawing people's attention, shedding light on the issue, 
and just letting us know, let, curating a space, an environment in which we know that street harassment isn't okay and we should speak up for one another. Um, so yes, that was just my little bit. Um, I'll put, include a link after the video um, so you guys can check out her work because it really is phenomenal and it's beautiful. Um, you know, these, these sketchings aren't just, you know, pretty, it's pretty aesthetically, you know, they really draw the emotion out in the eyes and she feels like the active sketching woman is humanizing them because she spends time. Um, with their eyes, with their face, focusing on different aspects of them so that really the emotion comes through, um, which is just great. So this is supposed to be a quick video um, and this is what happened to me recently and there'll be more to come. So I'm but I'm happy that you guys took the time to watch this video and check out her work. Seriously, great. Bye.